Hey folks, what's up? It's your boy Uncle Jums, the man of the hour, Streatham representative. I'm here with the man like Mr. Dane. What's up, sir? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You're good, yeah? Yeah. All How right. you doing? It's I'm, good to be here. And, and ha nice to have you here, my brother. Thank you. All right. First question I'm going to ask you, Dane. Yes. <laughs> you know, with like the way society is now. Yeah. You know, you've got youngsters playing video games. Yeah. And you've got grown men playing video games. Me included. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So, but on the youngster side now, do you think that the video games are a bit too much for the youngsters because some of them are like an 18 film? Ooh, well. Or would you would you disagree? Well, I'm I'm a person that's for personal freedoms, if you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, if you feel that your child can manage it, or if you feel that your child mentally can manage, you know, certain graphic images and graphic violence, you know, that kind of thing then it's no problem whatsoever. But it depends on their personality more than anything else. Um, obviously, if your child has psychopathic tendencies, <laughs> then they probably shouldn't be playing Grand Theft Auto. But, you know, otherwise, I think it's completely fine. You know, I I've been playing violent games from I was 10, probably <laughs> younger. I'd like to think I'm not a psychopath, but, you know, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that, yeah. All right, Mr. Dean. Next question I'm going to ask you, yeah? how important do you think Christmas is in society right now? Well, yeah, that, that's a really good question, actually. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. It depends on um, your attachment to it, really. Mm -hmm. uh, my family celebrates Christmas, and it was really awesome to celebrate with them last year. Uh, we had a really good time, we played some really good games, and dinner was just too much but amazing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but, uh, I don't know, I'm not religious, and I'm not a religious person myself, okay. so it wouldn't bother me too much, but at the same time I understand the role that it plays with family, with the way you treat other people, that kind of thing. It's always good to have a certain moral influence, if you will, yeah. um, in society, just to help people connect you know like yeah. people generally get more friendly around christmas and you don't get it a lot at any other period in time so. all right all right let's play yeah. devil advocate on that on that question <laughs> now yeah yeah why do you think people are being more friendly on can't, do you think that people could not be more friendly every day why does it have to take christmas for people to say oh how you doing and give you a yeah, nod and true. give you a thumbs up and you know what would you say to that well What's funny though is that you have situations where like on a night out you go drinking and people just hug you and approach you all the time. With and alcohol in their system. With alcohol you know in I mean? their it's system. It's a more friendly situation, I think, yeah. than that you just meet somebody on the bus. And I had a situation where like you tell somebody hello and they'll give you this look like... Now you're crazy. What the hell yeah. are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I think I think the, the occasion just really gives a spark to people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They... I guess it's the decorations, maybe it's the way things are presented. You know, it just gives a better influence, I guess, you okay. know. As I said, I'm not a religious person myself, so, you know, I've had a couple of Christmases where I didn't celebrate it at all. But if it provides a certain friendlier mood, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay, can know? I ask you a question within a question, yeah? Sure. You know those Christmases that you didn't celebrate, yeah? Yeah. Did you feel any different from celebrating? Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Yeah, because I didn't have any pressures to buy anything. I okay. didn't have any pressures to, you know, get this food sorted, get something done. You know, you have to, you feel obliged to do things. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. That pressure was gone. So in terms of finances, yeah, absolutely, it was <laughs> fine. Um, otherwise... He was glad for the company. Yeah, oh, you know, excellent. otherwise Christmas is good, man. It's, it's good. I think it's good. Yeah. Excellent. All right, Dane, last question is... When you picture in your mind the word supermodel, uh, who comes to mind? <laughs> Adriana Limo. Adriana, who, who is that? Who is that? Um, yeah, she's a Brazilian model that, oh man. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's she, just she wow. She's pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm going to check her out. Oh, please. Oh, ten, <laughs> 10 out of 10, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <I'm taking> that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dane. Thank you for your time today on Questions and Answer Time. Cool. You know, love the knowledge. Keep up what you're doing. And it's a pleasure. The sky's the limit, my brother. Yeah, thanks for saying. Peace, that. yeah? Cheers. Thank you.